Hey guys, what's up? Jade here, back with another Nerf video. It's been a hot second. I've met some new people. I'm now in a great, great relationship with this beautiful girl, and I absolutely in love with her, and that's why I haven't been making so much Nerf content. But, I'm going to be building her a loadout, and I have created the first primary for that loadout. It is a kind of rare recon, Sonic recon. I do have this complete. I don't know what I'm going to do with the... Uh, cover things i might put them back here but yeah this is essentially it guys um what i did was i took recon mark ii internals which i do like the recon mark ii has a great set of internals um it has the basic you know retaliator internals that you can integrate into a lot of different blasters it's super easy to use and that's what i did with this one as you can see it's really easy to do actually you have to all you have to do is just cut out a little bit of the shell to fit the this orange ring that you see right there. You have to cut out a little bit so it fits back there. That's it. And then you just have to 3D print this little ring right here that you can see. Mine's actually glow in the dark. I didn't plan that, but it was just the filaments I had on the bed at the time. So I figured, hey, why not use that? So it's glow in the dark. That's kind of cool. It does catch every once in a while. I haven't actually figured out why yet, but who cares, you know? This is a elite recon. Um, it's pretty cool, guys. It gets about 135 FPS. I haven't upgraded the spring yet or anything like that. I've just simply um, taken out the ARs and done a little bit of a spring stretch on it. A lot of people frown against spring stretching, but, you know, I don't mind it. And it eventually will recompress the spring to its original state anyways. So, you know, for the time being, it's fine. I can't get my hair to cooperate, but I'm thinking about changing up the muzzle a little bit. The recon muzzle does look good, but it's not great. And yeah, it feels pretty good in the hand. I have a men gun pump grip, or, you know, I haven't actually installed a pump grip on the front here. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I may just go with the plate and then have it like this. I really honestly like it. Getting it to catch was a little difficult. That was just because I hadn't kind of drilled out the little bit of a circle that you have to drill out for that ring. But as you can see, when you actually prime it, it slides back. Let me get a dart in here so I don't dry fire it. So, yeah, I'm going to slide it forward, and I'm going to fire it, actually. And I'll show you guys why you have to cut out that ring. So when you fire it, as you can see, this ring is in a forward position. I really like these clear blasters because you can do this exact thing with it that I'm doing right now. You prime it back, and that, that ring... Yeah, that was dry fire. Sorry, guys. You can see this ring right here when you prime it back it slides back into the actual catch mechanism and if you don't you know allow it to do that the plunger tube has to back up against that wall so what you could do is you could theoretically glue the the plunger tube into the blaster all the way back however i like mine to be a floating plunger tube so that's how it was originally designed and it fits perfectly into here when you prime it forward, it stays there, and then when you fire, it slides forward. So it slides forward with the plunger tube. Once you pull down that, this whole mechanism slides down, release the plunger tube, goes forward. If you don't know how a retaliator internals work, why are you even here? Um, yeah, so this is going to be one of her first blasters. Uh, don't tell her yet. If she sees this video, then, you know, she sees this video, but I doubt she will. So, yeah, tell me what else you guys think I should do for it. Um... I really like it. I think it came out really good. You guys know I love my, my Sonic series stuff. So I'm going to be doing a uh, an upgrade kit for this too. But for this, I need the Tri-Strike rail guide system. So I'm going to be waiting on that. And then that should just slide right in there. Because essentially, as you can see, this is almost exactly the same thing as this internally. Uh, because these both had the direct or indirect plunger systems. They're very similar internally. So I'll be able to integrate that directly into there and it should be good. I'm gonna need a little bit of a different O-ring, but I'll also make that 3D printed so I can show you guys the files and you guys can print out your own kit. That way you don't have to buy the new $60 Recon, or Long Strike Mark II rather. So yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, thumbs up would be great. Uh, any more content you guys wanna see, I'm dead broke, so if you wanna buy any of my blasters, I have a huge collection, I have a lot of blasters in stock, a lot of them are for sale. I really appreciate the sales. That way I can buy, you know, more metal parts, more custom parts for Nerf guns. I can build some more cool custom builds. And yeah, so if you guys like this, if you guys like the Sonic series, recons and stuff like that, the older kind of stuff, 
and they just have that cool clear design to them leave a like leave a comment tell me how i can better improve my videos and thanks for watching